So George, you are the CEO of Virgin Galactic. You guys are trying to become a space travel company. You also want to send small satellites into orbit um, and, and I think deter asteroids or something like that, get rid of space junk. It, what's the business model behind the company or the business models? Can you explain that? Well, broadly speaking, uh, we want to provide access to space. Um, we want to make uh, that access much lower cost and much higher frequency. Um, essentially, we want to create a space line. We want to get more towards airline type operations where you have a set schedule, you have a reasonable price list, you don't, you don't barter for the price, it's a set price. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we think by doing that, we'll both have a really great business of access to space, but also um, that the benefits of space will be more available to people on Earth. So are you talking primarily about people when you describe this business model, or are we talking about satellites and other objects? Yeah, we don't, exactly? we don't discriminate. I mean, there'll right. be different vehicles depending on you know, what we're sending up, but we want to dramatically open up space from the perspective of people. But also um, a small satellites, which is our other focus, is an area where um, customers, which are the people who are building these small satellites, are really not getting a great deal. Um, they have to fly essentially as piggybackers on other people's uh, rides, and they deserve a dedicated ride um, on their own schedule at a reasonable price, and we're going to provide that as well. And do you anticipate that um, these businesses are going to be uh, equally interesting from a financial perspective for you guys, or how, how are you looking at it? Yeah, I mean, we think they're both great businesses. I mean, we think they both are going to generate similar returns and, mm -hmm. and be of similar size um, over time. Um, so we're, we're quite enthusiastic about both of them. What about the investment that's going into these companies? You guys have Richard Branson, nice uh, friend to have in the business, I'm sure, and you've got an investment from Abu Dhabi as well. Who else is investing in space today? Well, that's one of the really exciting things about this moment is that for a long time, the answer was not that many people. Mm -hmm. But over the last, I would say, two or three years, maybe as much as five years, a whole um, crowd of other potential investors have come in. So what you see now, particularly with these small satellite companies, is you see a lot of venture capital investment uh, going in, but you now see private equity, um, even established firms like um, Fidelity put money into SpaceX. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, uh, you know, what you're now seeing is, is a, a much wider range of established um, financial backers putting money into the space sector. And why they're, why they're doing that is because innovation is finally like really blowing into the sector. And, and so for a long time there wasn't that innovation, but now people are seeing that you can do stuff for 10 times less or 100 times less than it used to cost. You're able to tackle problems like, you know, taking a picture of every part of the planet every day. You know, you can do these problems that you can't do any other way except for via space. And, uh, and so there's a lot of new money flowing in.